Copper is a key micronutrient for all plants out there. Today on the show, we're gonna talk a little bit about what kind of level you should be looking for in your soil, why this nutrient is so important. And earlier in the show, I mentioned, hey, if you have the right level of copper, you might actually be able to get by with a little less phosphorus. We'll explain that as well. When I think about copper, one of the big things that I think about is elasticity in the plant. If you've got plenty of copper in the plant, you're gonna have a little more seed coat stretch. So on soybeans, for example, as we pushed yields up higher on our farm, and many farmers have done the same thing, we're getting bigger seed size. I, I can remember back to the time when I was a kid and it would be, oh, 2,800 seeds per pound, 3,400 seeds per pound, and I'd say on average it was probably 3,000 soybean seeds per pound. Now we're a lot closer to 2,000 than 3,000, which means the seeds are 50% bigger, and what happens is a lot of times that seed coat can tear it, can't stretch as that bean plumps up. So you've got to get copper levels up so you have plenty of seed coat stretch. The other thing on corn that we've seen is more green snap issues than we've seen really my whole lifetime, just the last 10 or 15 years, green saps are becoming much more common. Part of the reason is we've got very low levels of copper. Copper helps that plant flex and stretch and pop back up without snapping. 